Hi right, guys, today I'm going to show you how I'm going to lock down and keep my rods and reels and my net from getting stolen from the back of my truck. Now guys, I have a rod holder mounted to my toolbox, but not all of you have that, so I'm going to show you another way that you can still lock your rods and reels and your net down to the back of your truck without having a pole holder. This is what I'm going to use guys, it's made by Master Lock. It has got a three digit combination that you can set to whatever combination you want. It's got an adjustable cable, uh, reaches up to about three feet I think, if I'm not mistaken. But you can adjust it to whatever length you want and then tighten it down and it will not come loose and they cannot take your stuff out of the back. You can actually use this for anything in the back of your truck. Yes, the cable is not that thick, but it can't be that thick to be adjustable. You know, it can't be that thick. So, uh, but this will work guys. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, like I said, it's very easy to adjust it to your length. Once you get everything set on your dial part, you'll be able to lock and unlock. This over here, the combination come off of it. There we go. You're gonna, you can push it just a little bit in, and then push this here. Pushes you push this in, and this will go in just a little bit. You don't want it to go all the way in. Then this little trigger here. We'll adjust it down to whatever size you want it and then you lock it in and you mess up the combination so your combination is not on there anymore and it's locked as you can see I've already got a few things already locked down you can see will not come up works for a spinning reel and a bait caster I'm fixing to show you how I'm gonna lock my net down so, you ready to do your combination? There you go. Now you're ready to lock it. What you're going to do is just wrap it around. Go underneath here. And you want to get it as tight as you can, so cut the slack out. There you go, guys. It's locked. And the spinning reel uh, with this one. What you're going to want to do is just go over the top of the reel. Actually, no, you go through the, sorry, that was the first way I tried it. You go through around the, the spool underneath the, the bale, and you go down, get with some slack, around your holder, get it as tight as you can. There you go guys, now they can't pull this, pull your reel off, and they can't pull your rod out. And your bait caster, basically what you do, is you're going to want to wrap it around your, your crank here a couple times, it's about the only way I can find they couldn't take the reel off. Wrap it around in it a couple times. And then you're going to want to go over the top of your reel so they can't pull the pole, the your rod out. 
Now guys, you're going to have to play with this a little bit. You want to get it around the around this part real good so they can't pull that out. Pull your reel off. Then you're ready to wrap it down below. Pull the slack out. Lock it into place. Now you can't pull that and pull your rod out or take your reel off. Now, let's get started showing you how to do it if you don't have a rod holder. Alright guys, you're going to have to have one of these tie down, tie down rings in the back of your truck in order for this to work. Because you need something that's locked down to your bed so you can uh, put your cable through and lock it down. Let's get started. All right guys, what I figured out doing, I took one, as you can see here, and I just wrapped it all around the bait caster and the spinning reel, and then I took another one and wrapped it through the net and then around the cable that went around both rods. So you're gonna need probably, I've got three all together, they come in different colors. There's like four different colors. You never know which one they're going to send you though. But I got the clear, green, and the red. But that's what I figured out how to do. Um, but you got to have one of those tie down rings in your bed of your truck. Now it will stick out a little bit from your truck. But that's how I rigged it. Um, you don't have to really probably have it stick out that far. I've got a rod holder, so I'm kind of limited on space, but you could bring it all the way back underneath your toolbox if you wanted to. But that's kind of what I've come up with, guys. Uh, but they're not going to be able to take your stuff out because it's tied down to that ring there. So, But the cable's not very thick, yes. They could cut it with a uh, wire cutter, but... Guys, what we're trying to do is just try to slow them down from taking our stuff. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, I tried to find a way to help you guys if you didn't have a rod holder. So hope that helps you out. All right, guys. I hope this helps you out. If you guys were looking for some way to to uh, tie and lock down. Your rods and reels and your net in the back of your truck i will put everything with the locks information in the description so you can check check the lock out um, also when you're checking it out make sure you scroll all the way down and there's a video on there it'll show you how to set the lock if you guys are interested in getting the lock okay all right guys hope everyone's having a good one and i'll see you guys in the next video